So backgrounds are the worst. I feel super inadequate when I'm working on them. I know I'm not bad with backgrounds. Like, I've been worse. But I really want to get better at them. Some of the things I'm terrible with are consistency in size and placement of objects. I'll draw a couch, right? And then as the scene progresses, the couch will have two cushions, and then three cushions, and then five cushions, and then it'll be back to two cushions. And oh, it drives me crazy because I don't notice it when I'm drawing, but I'll notice it when I'm going back and reviewing pages. I also know that objects will like drift around the room and kind of the, the objects will disappear from rooms. Or like for an exterior shot, like the trees will move around or the houses will look weird. So consistency is definitely something I want to work on. I also want to work on keeping objects in the background within perspective. So I know a lot of the rules of perspective and I'll try my best to follow, you know, the grid lines that I put down, but there will always be something that breaks the perspective. The last thing I know I really want to work on is adding more character-driven details into, say, interior shots. The way a character will decorate their bedroom, for example. I find that I make rooms really sparse, I use a lot of the same furniture and decorations throughout, you know, different rooms that are decorated by different people, and I want to get better at personalizing everything for each character. So to improve all those things, I'm planning to create more reference sheets to use with my comics. For example, I tend to, okay, this is really bad, but I tend to uh, create the design for a room right before I sit down and start drawing the pages. I've been making a habit of doing better and actually making reference sheets and room layouts and designing rooms before I actually start putting lines on the page. In the past, I've been really bad about it. Um, so I think designing more rooms really intentionally and then, you know, looking at the references later will really help me um, to improve on that. Uh, I should probably look into using those like interior decorating tools where you can like basically build like an entire room with furniture that is real and then, you know, it all stay consistent and stuff. Um, and then, of course, work on my perspective skills, but that'll just come with practice. So while I'm learning how to draw backgrounds, I know there's some things that I'm okay at. <laughs> I'm not going to be mean to myself this entire time. <laughs> um, I know that I know there's some things that I'm, I'm pretty good at. Uh, not perfect. I'm going to improve on them, but here goes. I know I like using backgrounds to frame shots. For example, in these pages, using the magpie's horde to kind of frame the shot, bring attention to, say, like Dylan, who's kind of the focal point in some of the panels. And throughout comics, I like, you know, turning the camera around in cool ways and using pieces of furniture to kind of frame things. I know that's something I really enjoy, and I think that's why I, I like what I've done so far with it. Again, it'll probably get better if I'm you know, creating environments that are really character driven and all of my perspective is like on point. Um, the other thing that I, okay, I was like talking to Bones and I was like, am I good at anything with backgrounds? And he was like, yeah, you're like pretty good at like putting characters into a scene without like it feeling weird, like they're on two different planes of existence. And I was like, what? Really? But yeah, I learned to do that from a couple places like um, Istabrak who's a, a really cool YouTuber. She, one of her classes, she said like, standing your characters on a plane really helps like bring them to life. So that's that's one of my tips, I guess, for uh, placing a character into a scene is, you know, throw down your grid lines for the floor and then put your character on top. I also break the characters down into like geometric shapes and then make those 3D and apply the perspective to them. The easiest way to start that is to break your character down into like rectangles. So like their head will be a rectangle, their chest will be a rectangle, their arms, their legs will each be like a rectangle. And then you just apply uh, perspective to those and like stack them on top of each other. It'll make it a lot easier to understand when you're first learning and then eventually you'll just kind of like learn the rules as you go. I know I've got a long way to go with backgrounds. They're far from perfect. And as I've outlined, there's a lot of stuff that I want to improve, but I'm excited to learn more. Man, this challenge is hard. Again, the speaking. So I was walking around all day today with bones, like practicing speaking from my, my chest instead of my throat. 
And like, I'm so loud now. Like, I'm not actually loud, but I sound so loud to my own ears. I guess I have this problem where I'm like, oh no, I don't want to like bother anyone or step on their toes. I'll just sit here and be quiet. And now I have to force myself not to do that. But it's, it's like, it's getting better. I hope. <laughs> Bones, give me a thumbs up. He gave me a thumbs up. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm enjoying recording my work. I think it's making me focus more instead of like running off and watching, say, like, you know, YouTube in the background or a TV show in the background while I'm working. Uh, it makes me just sit down and focus on the work until like the recording timer is up. So that's all I have for today. Thanks for listening. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!